Hi, this is uh, C++ working with Square Root. To develop this uh, brief program, I've actually used a for loop to put all of these together. All I just needed to do was to declare a variable and um, specify the numbers. And then the next step was to find the square root of those numbers. So let me take you guys into C++ uh, code that I developed using dev C++ itself. So let's go into it right now. Okay, here here are the codes. It's very simple. And uh, the first thing I did was to import this uh, um, the library. Okay, the mass library itself. Well, in the case of this C standard library, it's not really needed for my system because my system works with. Uh, is just a 32 bit but uh, in the case of a 64 bit i think you will need you will need a standard library but uh, since i've commented it out let me just see how it works okay you can see that it's it works so it's not really needed for 32 bit uh, um, processor okay now now what about the io string i've uncommented that in the case of io string if you do not use that what will happen is the system which will generate some errors because since like the input and the uh, the um, the output and the input need the IO stream library for it to work so let's forget about that one now we we'll compile and run you see that it does need the IO stream library for it to work what about uh, using namespace if I comment out the using namespace, what will happen? The using namespace is also needed for the C out to function as expected as well. So let's get rid of that. And now recompile. See, it works as expected. Now, right here, I have the background of my of my program. So if I run it, what you see is something reddish which you guys can see right there but supposing I decide to change this color to maybe 5 and see that you see that's the color I ended up with sort of like purple okay so that is about using the color for you to use the color it has to be system open a bracket quotes color and specify the hexadecimal color notation you need now this is the C out is just my own uh, working with square root and right here is the loop you can see is in integer format for i equals one and uh, column i less than and great less than and equals to twenty so i plus plus so you see the way i've written my i plus plus or plus plus i you can always write it as i plus plus okay let's compile and run it since i've converted it to i plus plus you see that it works as expected now close that now look at my output here in my output i've used this very function right there okay which is the square root of the numbers that I generated here okay. if I decide to take off my mathematics library right there what will happen is there will be an error here so let's see what will happen can you see that this error there's an error here because the for us to be able to use the square function we do need the CMAS library right there and you can see it right here seeing the square is not defined okay so let's go back in here and get that sorted come back there you see it works as expected since uh, it is out of the way and this is just to create two lines for me okay two new lines okay look at the system pause what will happen if the system pause is commented out what will happen is you see that guys the output flash right away in front of you so you always need system pause okay what about the exit system what about it because sometimes you can always use zero so let's take that off 
and use zero and see what will happen. There, it works as expected. Okay, but the exit system in its own case does need the standard library to work. Okay, in some system you will need a C standard library for the exit system to work. And uh, that's all for this short tutorial. I suppose I've been able to uh, just uh, talk you through into some of the main functions required. We're going to call this bye for now. And thanks.